Well, car theft is not only a problem in Canada. In the past two years, car thefts have skyrocketed in many U.S. cities as well. But it's a different story in St. Paul, Minnesota. Car thefts there have fallen by nearly 40% in a year. My next guest is a big part of that. John Choi is the Ramsey County Attorney and joins us now from St. Paul, Minnesota. Mr. Choi, thank you so much for joining us. I, I, I want to understand what St. Paul did here to turn things around. Well, I think from what I've been reading about Canada in, you know, in the United States, just across all large cities, we've experienced things that we have never experienced before around carjackings and auto theft. And so we had this big surge, I would say, probably at the very beginning part of 2021. Uh, prior to that, you know, we didn't even really count carjackings. I mean, we had auto thefts, but we never really even had a thought about even kind of counting uh, the numbers of carjackings. And so we experienced uh, that really new type of crime. And what was happening in St. Paul, Minnesota, is that we, what we realized is that a lot of the carjackings and auto thefts were being done by really younger kids, some as young as like 13 years of age, uh, and so a lot of teens. And so we felt like we knew who, who the individuals were. We felt like we knew who the families were. And so we developed a collaboration by bringing all of the various um, actors and government together to kind of focus on this problem. We got some additional resources. Uh, the, you know, the first thing was that we had to catch the people doing these crimes. Because if you don't catch them, uh, you're never going to stop this behavior. So uh, just making sure that we had the right resources in place for law enforcement. But I think the unique thing that we did was we actually went out and started talking to the families and to the young people that were involved. The young people in, that were involved, that was much harder to get through to, and oftentimes we had to prosecute them. Uh, but the families were in desperate need of hope or help. Uh, you know, it's not easy being a, a, a parent to a teenager. And when they're defiant and not listening to their parents, so we offered services and supports for families and, and those kids and also like younger siblings. Um, and we just got to work on this kind of balanced approach around prevention, um, enforcement of the law, prosecution, also to, to take into account some prevention methods. You know, 60% of all of our auto thefts here in St. Paul are preventable because people might leave the keys in the ignition or they might leave a car running uh, when it's cold outside. And so we took uh, a lot of those prevention measures to get the word out to not do that type of thing so that it makes it easier for people to steal. Now, when I read about Canada, it seems like there might be like a marketplace that's driving this. Like uh -huh. there might be people who might be selling the cars elsewhere, right? That didn't exist here in Minnesota. It was more young uh, people wanting to, uh, maybe because they were bored or they were confused, not connected right. to school, pandemic. That's what was driving our problem. So, and, you, know, you know, the prime minister. Right. Yeah, the, the prime minister here in Canada today hinted that tougher penalties for car thieves. In your experience, are tougher penalties going to deter thefts? I think that's a part of the equation, but you can't do the only thing. I mean, I think one of the things, if it's true that the marketplace, the black marketplace, is driving some of this. Uh, then more intensive uh, regulations about that marketplace because obviously if that you change that marketplace uh, and there's no demand for these cars or it's you're you're cracking down on th those individuals that are you know selling the stolen cars that could be a part of the solution also I think uh, intervention and prevention programs are another part of it you know speaking to um, the just the general public about being aware of what's happening uh, and taking measures uh, to protect yourself and your property, uh, not leaving your keys in the ignition. I would imagine it's cold in Canada like it, it is here in Minnesota in the wintertime, and sometimes people want to warm their car up. Uh, but doing that can also make it easier for thieves to take your car. Uh, and then also trying to figure out who's actually doing this crime. Uh, what we know, I, I mean, I know this across you know all of uh, criminal activity, there's only a small number of people that actually are doing the criminal or the crimes. And so if you can isolate generally who they are who, or who might be tangentially involved, uh, creating uh, partnerships with our community uh, to, because we've hired community navigators uh, who have credibility within our community to go and engage these communities to connect them to services in our county um, and to provide emergency assistance um, uh, to some families so that they can be better parents, because that's a big part of the equation too.
All right, John Choi, uh, appreciate the time tonight. John Choi is the Ramsey County attorney joining us from St. Paul, Minnesota. Thank you.